Felix Hernandez was one of the better pitchers of his generation, and it is a shame that he is most known for never making the postseason. Now in baseball, it's really a team sport. You can't have one single pitcher carry a team all the way to the playoffs, so really no blame here is on Felix Hernandez. It's just a very sad and unfortunate situation. The Mariners currently hold the longest postseason drought in all of American team sports as they have not made the postseason since 2001. And when Felix Hernandez made his Major League debut back in 2005 as a 19-year-old, he was arguably their best pitcher. This year, Felix Hernandez pitched in 84 innings where he had a 2.67 ERA. And no other pitcher on the starting rotation had an ERA below 4. The closest to that point was Jamie Moyer and his ERA was at 4.28. So really, when Felix was coming up as a youngster in the big leagues, they really didn't have too much talent on the Seattle team outside of a couple of offensive bats like Adrian Beltre, Raul Ibanez, and Ichiro Suzuki. Now let's fast forward to 2009, where Felix Hernandez was a 23-year-old, really beginning his reign of dominance. He pitched in 238 innings, where he went 19-5 with a 2.49 ERA, 217 strikeouts, and finished second in the Cy Young voting. And for Seattle as a team this year, they weren't awful, but they did not make the postseason as they finished at 85 and 77. Moving over to 2010, Felix Hernandez had another dominant year as he pitched in 250 innings where he went 13 and 12 with a 2.27 ERA, punched out 232 batters, and won his first Cy Young award. But unfortunately for Felix Hernandez, the team around him was awful as they only won 61 games that year. Moving over to 2011, Felix yet again had another great season as he pitched in 234 innings where he had a 3.47 ERA, struck out 222 batters, and was named to the All-Star team. But similar to 2010, the Mariners were very bad as they only ended up winning 67 games. 2012 was no different where King Felix dominated to a 3.06 ERA, finished fourth in the Cy Young voting, and had a all-around very dominant year. But the Mariners did not make the playoffs as they only finished with 75 wins. Moving over to 2013, Felix Hernandez as a 27-year-old had yet another great year as he pitched in 204 innings where he went 12-10 with a 3.04 ERA and 216 strikeouts. But the Mariners took a step back from 2012 as in 2013 they only ended up winning 71 games. In 2014, Felix Hernandez had arguably his best season as he pitched in 236 innings where he went 15-6 with a 2.14 ERA and 248 strikeouts, and he finished second in the Cy Young voting. And 2014 was really the year where optimism was high in Seattle as they just signed Robinson Cano to a massive contract. But as good as King Felix and Robinson Cano were, the Mariners missed out on the postseason as they finished with 87 wins. This is really the most upsetting season for Seattle because unlike the other seasons, expectations were high and they were so close to making the postseason. And as we went over before, this was arguably King Felix's best season. So we were robbed of a Felix Hernandez postseason where he was at his best. And moving over to 2015, King Felix pitched in 202 innings where he went 18-9 with a 3.53 ERA and 191 strikeouts. But Seattle regressed from their 2014 season as in 2015 they finished with 76 wins. And for Felix Hernandez, this 2015 season was really the end of his prime, which is extremely sad when you think about it considering he was only 29 years old at the time. One reason why Felix Hernandez's prime was cut so short is because of how much the Mariners worked him over the years. He had a span of eight consecutive seasons with at least 200 innings pitched. This definitely took a huge toll on his arm and his health. Really, his career was just cut short because of how much Seattle worked him over his prime years. Nowadays, you see many teams monitoring their young stars' innings, uh, you could have only imagined how Felix Hernandez's career would have turned out if this were the case back in the early 2000s. So really, Felix Hernandez was one of the greater pitchers of his time. And unfortunately, we were never able to see him pitch in a postseason game. 
And for me, this one hurts a little bit more than most because growing up, Felix Hernandez was my favorite pitcher. He's the reason why Seattle is one of my favorite teams. Uh, for those who don't know, my two favorite players growing up were Carlos Gonzalez, which is the reason why Colorado is my favorite team. And then it was Felix Hernandez, who is my favorite pitcher, which is why I love Seattle so much as well. And I'll never forget watching Felix Hernandez's perfect game. That is something that I'll never forget. I believe it was back in the 2012 season. But anyways, that is going to wrap today's video up. Wanted to give some thoughts here on King Felix. Uh, one of my subscribers, I believe his name is I Have a Life, um, he actually suggested I do a video on this, so I want to give a shout out to him as well. And if you guys do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. Going to be posting plenty of baseball content going forward. And lastly, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.